Okay. No, Lucy. Pussy, 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 you stop it. Stop being a pussy. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, I gotta turn this shit down. One sec. Okay. All right, one second. Okay. Yo, this chicken is killing it. <laughs> chicken rip. Hey, look at me. I'm chicken rick. Chicken rick. Oh, God, okay. damn it. Start off strong. <laughs> All right. Um. Eh. Oh. Just so people know. Sick. All right. What do you want to do first? We should just get some movement. You know what I mean? Are just we like some movement? Are we live? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just some movement, you know, get some wave dashes in there. Also, are you still planning on playing Gandorf, or are you just trying different characters right now? I think I'm going to switch to Sheik just so I have a little bit more mobility. I might go back to Gandorf at some point, but... Nice, look at that shit. Not barely. Oh, God. You're doing that little bounce because you're holding down, probably? Yeah. I need a... Oh, shit. So every time you flash like that blue color, that means it's like a good one, a good, yeah, a perfect one. So whenever you get like a string of blue ones, just try to remember where your, where your, uh, your directional stick yeah. is. Okay. Because um, each character has its has a different allowance in how uh, far it's optimal to move your your control stick when you're doing the wave dash. So characters can't go as as far horizontal as other characters can so it's good to remember how far you're able to go because you want to go to the max distance usually well i mean sometimes you you can do like a, like a little stunty one like yeah eh. right. <laughs> <laughs> some characters i think okay. gandorf has a pretty shallow one you can't really go very far yeah no, he's not. He's unless you're unless you're wave landing and apparently when you're wave, wave, wave landing you can go almost completely horizontal which is kind of cool. This will be fun because uh, Sheik has like a totally different um, ledge strategy or ledge play when it comes to Ruffy. How are your uh, your laser lands? Like, all right. Oh, I made sound effects. Oh god! Wait, did I actually hit you? One second. Let me... nope. Oh, okay. it's sick! All that shit works. It's cool. Yeah, so Matt did a thing where it prevents the knockback, so you can practice or whatever. I'm not sure if you used that before. Yeah. Yeah. So when your shield is popping up like that, that means that you're it's not. Too late. Yeah, yeah, you're holding the the uh, the shield button a little too long. Hey, how's it going, Dad? Hey, how's it going, you see Voyager? Hello, Matt, Dad. 
feel like it's gonna be Matt Pat's new YouTube name now that he has a kid. <laughs> Possibly. Hey, it's just a theory, a kid theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I love my child. Let me try some Matt, uh, Matt. wavelands. Okay. Oh, too fast. Slow down. Oh god, slow down, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. You know, I have a bad habit with wavelands where I'll still hit the, uh, the shield button when I'm doing them. But you don't have to do that. What? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, I'll still hit, like, I'll do it as if I'm just doing a, 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 a wave dash. But you only, ha you only have to hit the shield button. Sorry. No, you have to hit a direction. Oh, and, and the direction. But I'm talking about I'll, I'll even do the jump, too. The waveland? Yeah, I, I just have a bad habit of it. Oh, well, I'll still, I'll still act, I'll still hit the jump button even though, like, the, you know, I have to do it. It's a lot harder with Sheik since her body's like, you know, a half the size of Ganondorf. Oh God. Yeah, you yeah. gotta be. Is it used to her her jump height, really? Yeah. Nice. I mean, you're getting some good ones. It also looks like you're double jumping. You don't have to double jump. You can probably full hop, which is just like the single, and then do it. Yeah, I might, I might actually be mashing. I guess I don't know. It's because yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh wait, I think. Uh. Yeah. See. Well, no, right. you have to do the X X R to um, wave land, don't you? Um. The, well, the uh, the X being the jump button. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to wave land with the X button. No, you once, can, once you've jumped once. Yeah, you can. The whole if you're coming down, you can just wave dash off. Uh, yeah, you, you can just hit the shield okay. button and slide. Yeah. Yeah, the jump. As long as you're in the, you know, as long as you're angling it, the yeah. the air dodge. The jump for the wave dash is just to get the initial, like yeah. like pop up. Pop. To do it in the first gotcha. place but when you're wave landing you're already up in the air anyways mm -hmm. so you don't have to do it also gotcha. um like it's, it's it's good to be mindful of 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 whether or not your stick is pointing up when you're doing it because you can accidentally double jump by holding by pressing it up okay. in the first place which is gotcha. something i also do <laughs> because melee is uh, still one of those games where you can't change your, your button combos to turn off the tap jumps on the thing. Yeah. I have to turn it off in every other Smash game, but in this game, it doesn't, like, I, it, I have no problems with it at all. In Smash 4, it destroys me. <laughs> I get riggedy, riggedy wrecked. Oh, uh, you want to try some more wave dashes? Sure. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now I had to remember how. Oh, God. Nice. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you're getting some good ones. Eh. Eh. Ow. So oh, also, no. uh, Jeez. her uppy, you can angle it. So you know how you were facing this way. You yeah, can, I was trying to do it. Yeah. You can uh, angle it so that she'll land, like, on the yeah. Yeah, you can angle it any direction. Look at that. You can even do stuff where if you're holding onto the ledge, if you like press off the ledge to let go real quick and then do the upbeat, you can upbeat, mm. like down and you'll go up and then down again and still grab the ledge again pretty nifty a bunch of cool stuff you can do with her of course her she's upbeat. a ninja she can do all the coolest things yeah half of her like defensive game is the strategy on how you're supposed to get back to the stage because of how her her upy works because mm. it's kind of short so there's already yeah. like built-in strategies that other people use to try to prevent it so you have to be tricky. No, oh, I forgot to turn off time. I mean, I'll give you a chance to possibly. Eh. 
play uh, Sheik in case he wanted to show him specific uh -oh. stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> oh, I love it. Mission complete. Oh, whoops. Mm, okay. I remember you can hold down L to... Oh, L? Okay. Oh, not Sorry, not L, A, to turn oh, okay. into... Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, before you start the thing, you can hold A while it's loading and you'll automatically become chic. And I'm not sure if Matt told you, but um, a, a, a friend of ours gave uh, was looking for CRT TVs for them, and mm. uh, he happened to find one that he was he, he he gave us, and so we have a GameCube that works, and we have a CRT TV that we've been able to set up. We just don't have oh, shit. the actual thing just yet. No, we're we're getting that set up, so we'll be able to play off of a CRT, which would be kind of cool. You don't have the actual what? We don't have the game yet. Oh, the game. Oh, gotcha. I mean, we definitely have the game. That's why we're emulating it. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I got, okay, got <laughs> Yeah. So try, it's, it's, it seems like you got the wave dash, like, basically down. You should try going forwards and then backs. Huh? Forward and back. Oh, like, yeah. We're just wave dashes. Yeah. It'll get your your hands going. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, and you don't have to turn around. You can just. Yeah. But when you're jumping like that, you're not hitting the uh, L button or the R button or whatever one you like to use. Yeah. So. Check. I mean, that's pretty good, dude. Thank you. Oh, God. Maximum finger concentration. Oh, God. Maximum effort. Uh. Fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Fuck, duck. Nice. All right, you want to work on some L canceling? Sure. How do you do that again? So right before you land, you hit the trigger. Yeah, out of a move. Yeah. And you'll flash a white when you do it correctly. Yeah. So you're full hopping. You kind of you want to short hop, <laughs> which is a a faster hit. Yeah, on the jump. a faster hit. Okay, I had to just barely touch the thing. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, when uh. you play like really fast characters, like you basically just like, like, just like the slightest touch, it seems. And really, like, it, it's, it's, it's not about uh, barely touching it, it's about how quickly you release the jump button. Yeah. Some people will do kind of like a. So, before we do the, the L canceling, we should do the. Just try to jump Nair, but just jump A. All right. Jump A, nice. So now add in the fast fall. You remember how to do that? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I wish we had the ability to show the. Oh, we, we, we did the ability to show the thing. I didn't realize it was up there. Yeah, nice. And you want to, like, right before you land, basically. And some moves are different too, so you just have to get a feel for it. Yeah. So. <laughs> also, <laughs> I would take this time to try to get the uh, short hop down. Oh, so. God. So, yeah. <laughs> you just want to, like, like my finger just hovers over the jump button, like, and like, 
a little hard to explain, but it just like I kind of lay my finger flat over the A and the jump button, my thumb, and then mm -hmm. I just like barely like press it, and then then I hit the uh, A button with my like the middle knuckle, I guess, of the thumb. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know anything about that, but okay. <laughs> Are you talking about um, uh, yeah. pivoting your thumb? Yeah, just pivot. So, like, when you if you imagine your thumb over the uh, the the Y button, or, uh, because that's the way Matt does it. Although I think you're jumping with X. No, he's jumping with Y. Okay, you're jumping with Y. So it, it, your right thumb right, automatically yeah. rests over the A button. So you would just do like a little pivot where you hit with the tip of your thumb on the Y, and then you just move, kind of move your your thumb in onto the A. If that makes sense. Like a seesaw. Yeah, it's just yeah. That's a that's a, a technique that some people use. It's not required, but yeah. Other people I do it because I do used to flick. play Peach. Yeah, Peach needs, mm. it, needs it. Yeah. Some people do a flick where they'll, uh, and this is kind of what I do, where you'll you'll hit the Y button and you'll pull your thumb down off the Y button and then hit the A right afterwards. Like in one one motion. I'm so mad. I'm gonna throw needles. Fuck! Oh, my chain. Whoops. Does your chain hang low? Does it wobble through and throw? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? It's funny because the chain doesn't come out very often in uh, in, in like like tournament professional play. But there's one player, Mewtwo King. Oh, you can swing it around. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. You one hold player. B. Yeah. Yeah, you do stuff. Uh, uh, and then if we didn't have that thing on, you would be like stunning the shit out of Matt right now. Uh, uh, like cool. it's it, it's it's hilariously effective, but only in certain circumstances to be kind of cheeky. Most of the time, it's really bad. Yeah. Oh my god, you're me from Dark Souls too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That's cool. Okay. The more you know. I think you potentially use that to edge guard. Yeah. So I would just like just do like this where you without the yeah attack. without the move so right when you get to the apex of your jump you just want to hit down and it also also help you practice with the short hops too yeah <laughs> my fingers so fat oh god i have no quick pressing of any of the oh jesus Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Nope, shit. Shit. Hey, thanks for the follow. Z Z -Cult. Person. Oh, Z Colt 21. Thanks for the follow. Z Colt? Is that like Coulter's evil twin brother? I don't know. Uh, Z Colt. And it's like his. It's like the, the Power Rangers version of Coulter. Damn it, I, I did it again. again. Alright, here's a chance to kick. Oh, damn, he's, he, he stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, no problem. I was just trying to hold A. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Yeah. So, you're kind of like spamming the down when you're up at the apex or whatever mm. uh you just you want to tap it. yeah you just want to tap it down and then yeah once you get the timing for that like everything's faster yeah it's like it's so much easier to move around yeah the importance of 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 fast falling especially once you get the short hop down too is you're able to do an aerial Fast fall, let uh, L cancel it, and be able to be move right into something else as quickly as possible. Mm. So yeah. you can do like a, a, a string of things really quickly. Yeah, and you can just kind of like you can flick the stick down too, so you can just like so it, the stick resets to neutral again. Hey, what up, Corn? Long time no see, dude. Hi, hey, Corn. How's it going, Corn? Fuck. 
Okay. You want to try some dash dancing? Uh, nailed it. I like this is. Hold on, I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> that I did it. Look, oh god, I'm so quick. So just try to run like, like back and forth, like that. Yeah. So you're sliding up a little bit. So you yeah. want to try to not slide up. Yeah, you want to go straight back and forth. Or like be horizontal with your stick. Also, once you go into like that that skid or whatever, you basically have to wait for the skid to be done to, to start it up again. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you want to... All right. Calm down. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And you wanna, you wanna make sure that you're getting the run instead of the walk, because sometimes it looks like you're walking. So you just wanna like hit the stick hard. At to, least the first time. Yeah, the and first time. And, forth. and and like the actual, uh, you, you don't yeah. have to go that fast to, to make it work. You yeah. just wanna do like a hard one and then go like like, if you look at Matt's thing at the top, I'm not sure if it shows up for you. It does. Yeah. But that speed, is like, pretty good speed for it. Yeah. So once you're already in a run like that, you can't, you have to do it from like a standstill almost. But you just want to make sure that you're not getting just the walk on the initial move. Because that's what kind of messes you up. Wait, so is Fisty still a Ganymane? main? Uh, he wanted to play some Sheik. Yeah, I'll try to have some Sheik to have some mobility. I might go back to Gandorf at some point, but I feel like Sheik might have more speed, but maybe too fast for me. Okay. Um, a good way to kind of get so yeah. with with the dash dance, uh, it's all about um getting the turnaround back and forth within a proper distance. Because certain characters, you will have to dash dance faster to get the the right dash dance for it. Um, but uh, and then other characters, you can dash dance longer, and it's okay. So a good way of getting the distance out is if you just uh uh mash your stick in one direction real quick, and you'll do like a little yeah, run forward. Yeah, that right there. And then you just want to do this back and forth until you get, like, the timing. Yeah, because that's what's called a, a, a foxtrot. Because you can do that forward if you time it right. And you'll just do, like, a little a little pop forward over and over again. Yeah. And that's the distance that you're able to move within the dash dance. And so if you just focus on getting that out and doing back and forth kind of slowly, and then you'll know kind of how how fast you need to be moving your stick to actually get the dash dance to work. Yeah. Okay. That's like your dash dance length. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, once you get into that little skid animation... Mm. Like, like there's a couple ways you can get out of it. Yeah, you, you can, can wave dash down. You can wave dash out of it. So like, if you're like, oh, I fucked up, and then you can just wave dash, and you'll be at a standing. You can also um, just tap shield real quick, and you'll yeah. kind of stop whatever you're doing. That way, you don't get like that weird. I'm just skidding all the time now. Thing that mm. happens. It happens way worse in Smash Four. Dude, I jump all the time when I try to do stuff like this sometimes. Mm. Like, w when I'm really going, I'll just accidentally jump. I'm like, fuck. Sure. I have a problem where my stick will just, like, fade towards the up position when I'm trying to do a dash dance. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you look at my stick while I'm doing it, like it's not yeah, perfect, it's crazy fast. <laughs> but you just got to get the 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 initial dash like, and then like, yeah, you just got to get the initial dash. So you want to dash one way and then just go back and forth. 
Also, it sounds like they, y- y- you might be flicking your stick every time. Yeah, when you, you don't want to dance. You don't want to be flicking it. Okay. Uh, so do your your stick movement. Okay. <laughs> you look at yours. You're going like around in circles. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. You can try to change the 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 angle that you have your hand at, just to get like yeah. the movement down. No fuck no. Yeah. So you're like veering towards the top. Mm. If you're gonna veer, you want to try to veer towards the the corners, like yeah, the bottom corners. Like the bottom corners. Yeah. It's that safer won't stop to go your, towards your dash dance. It's safer to go towards the bottom corners than it is to go towards the top because you'll jump. Nah. Okay. All right. All right. Reset. We can move okay. on. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. Watching y'all on my Amazon Fire TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, you can. So you can do them. some weird shit with the needles. Yeah. Then the the needle cancel. Yeah. So you can shield. Can you roll out of it? No, you have to shield, right? Yeah. Shield first, at least. Yeah, you have to shield out of it. So when you're flashing, you have like a full charge of needles. You mm-hmm. see how you're like kind of flashing white? They do 18% damage. Uh. It's crazy. Yeah, and when you jump, you actually throw them at an angle downwards. Yeah. Like I'm trying to Why show you, it? but you keep shooting me with the needles. Well, I, I, yeah, kept, well, like, I, I kept holding B, but I kept shooting. Oh, God. Yeah, so, so like when you, you jump can, and you can jump, them. you can be like. Oh. You throw them at an angle. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All you have to do is hit B. Yeah, you don't. Fuck. Uh, uh, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, if you hold the direction, you accidentally do the side B. Yeah, and you don't want a side B. That's really no. slow. And they go hella far. And you can do it like quick shit. You'd be like. Rah. And then, like. And it's great, too, because you don't need to charge up to just throw one. Yeah, you can just. You, you, you always at least throw one. And then a common uh, technique. Um, when doing stuff, especially off stage, is to is to cancel it in the middle of the air. So just like you're canceling on the ground, you can um, hold the button to yeah. charge in the air, and then press the um, the shield button to to stop. And then you'll keep whatever uh, ones you grabbed. So yeah. If you jump and then you're and then press B to charge it while you're in the air, and then hold, um, yeah, that and you'll and, and you'll kind of like stop. Yeah. So you jump and then you can. Oh, I see. And you can do stuff out of that. You can um, you can turn around. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Matt messed it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's exactly how you ledge guard oh. some people. <laughs> oh, he's got the ledges. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh boy. Yeah. So you can like. I mean, doing the turnaround and stuff like that, that's like a little uh, more advanced, so we won't worry about that right now. No, I was just trying to give, like, ideas. But, yeah, so you can be, like, running, like, this way and be like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to catch the ledge and then, you know, do the shit or whatever. If you space it right, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you played Cheek, but you could... If you want to go through all the different moves you have, because they all have different types of, like you have the down smash, the down tilt. The, the her tilts are, are kind of interesting. Her forward tilt is this big kick. Yeah. And then you have the up tilt, which is really weird. Yeah. Nope. Oh god. Let's see how smash. So if you yeah I'm, yeah but, you, you but, want the up tilt. Yeah. How do. You? All right, so you see on my stick on the left? Mm-hmm. You just hold it, like, right there. And once you have it up oh initially, yeah. and you haven't jumped yet, you can just push it all the way up and do it after. Because yeah. that way you're not getting the tap jump. But the that little gray line that you see is kind of like the limit you can do it before you'll jump. Yeah. And you kind of want to slower, like, slowly roll it up so you don't yeah. actually get the tap jump out. So you can... You can, um... You can roll, like, you, there's a certain speed you can just, like, you won't get the tab jump no matter what. 
So you can hit it like whenever you want. But if you do it too fast, you'll get the jump. So you just want to do it kind of slow. And you don't even have to do it that much. You can do it like, you know, a little bit. Yeah, an easy way of doing it is, like, it is if you do like a forward tilt in the middle of your forward tilt animation, you can kind of slowly roll yeah. it up and it makes it easier. Oh, God. Our feet clashed. Oh, my God. <laughs> you want to try to do a forward tilt into an up tilt? Uh, It'll look like that. Dude, so if you dude. watch my analog stick, I can, like... He doesn't release it. Yeah. He just, like... And then just goes straight up. Yeah. And, like, I roll it, like, a tiny bit. There you go. Yeah, every time I play, I have to recalibrate doing the up tilt versus doing accidentally doing an up smash or a jump because it is kind of specific. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll get a jab instead of an up tilt or something like that. I actually Damn. get a jab quite often. Oh, because you're hitting the attack too fast? Yeah. Your jab combo is interesting too. And literally a mixture of forward tilt and up tilt is enough to get a, a couple of good hits on somebody at low so, percent. So, like, one second, uh, don't hit me. So you can, like, this and then boom and then hit them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I you. Okay, but yeah, I got you. <laughs> Damn, so. Nope, wrong man. Oh, God. Wow, man. Wait, okay, just crouch bye. cancel that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you turn off the thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's do let's do something crazy. Let's do a jab, a forward tilt, and then up tilt. Jab. Jesus. Forward tilt, up tilt. So when you get a smash attack like that, that means you're like hitting the, the forward the, too yeah hard. the forward and the A at the same time. Yeah, and that'll give you a forward smash. The thing with the tilts and the smash attacks is uh, when you do a smash attack, you're hitting the direction and the attack at the same time. With the tilt, mm. you want to have the direction come out before you hit the A button, so it's already in position, and yeah. that's what a tilt is. I mean, there's a way you can do it where you hit them close to the same time by just barely moving the stick forward, but it's not nearly as easy or you know optimal really yeah yeah so as long as you just focus on having the stick move before you do the attack you're less likely to do it a smash attack instead nice. there you go nice And this kind of trains you not to just spam A. You know what I mean? Because you definitely don't oh, that's want my that. my favorite. This is I the love worst. Spamming. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's do a down tilt, which is you just hold down. And then you do the, the little spinny move. Let's do a mm -hmm. down tilt, jab, forward smash, up tilt. Oh, well, forward tilt, up tilt. Yeah, forward tilt, up tilt. So you're just oh, adding a down boy. tilt in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yep. Nice. Shit. 
Oh boy. I had a dash attack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the new Swedish delight. That's a player who plays Sheik. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's like a Swedish chef joke. I don't understand. I don't. It's funny because he's not he's not even like remotely Swedish. And uh, just Which recently, there was name. a tournament where he was fighting against an actual Swedish player. Mm. And he's doing pretty well. And it was just kind of funny seeing a guy named Swedish Delight who's not Swedish fighting a Swedish player. <laughs> so it seems like it's you're missing the up tilt. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's getting that jab that you get. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys can't both do the moves at the same time. <laughs> Watch us. It's a dance. Oh, I'm forgetting the jab. Hmm. Whoops. One of your main kill moves is, is, is the up smash too, by the way. And there's a lot yeah. of stuff going into to, to dub smash because it does kill pretty well yeah. if you get them at the top of that little shine that you have it, it, with your hands mm. yeah let's do we do a jump cancel up smash yeah oh. don't forget about bear so it's the same oh, what it's the same as a kind of like a, a jump cancel grab you remember how to do that hmm where you hit jump right before you hit the the Z button. Yeah. The cheek is kind of hard. Yeah, I feel you. I'm doing the same shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's really fast. It's almost at the same time. Yeah, almost. Which is why you end up jumping a lot cuz it, it'll read the jump. But you, you want to be just slower than doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's like totally getting it. Uh, Use the stick. It's the perfect crime. Yeah. Well, you could be not using. Like you could still be missing it. Is the no. Is the uh, thing with the stick? Well, it's it's when you're really moving the stick. Yeah. Version is harder to hit. Well, it's just harder to be like. Uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, so you do a jump canceled up smashes. You when you're running. You can, you can there's two it. ways you can do it. There's the, you can do the way that you're jump canceling the grab with the up on the stick. And then you hit um, A, yeah. Yeah. like A and up. So you can like run and then do that. Or okay. you can do a claw method, which is harder. Yeah. So I don't use the claw method at all. Matt does though. Mm. And uh, the difference between them is when you do the claw method, which is you're changing your, your position of your hand. Mm -hmm. You don't end up accidentally charging the up smash. So yeah. you, you do it a bit faster. If, well, it's more consistent to do it faster. But just to learn it, just to get the, the, you know, the idea down, yeah. you can just run and then literally go right into an up smash in the middle of your run. Yeah. So run at me and then... And then just hit up B. Up, not up B. Oh, up, sorry, a. up A. Nope. What? Matt plays claw. I play claw. I switch. There we go. But just run and so a lot of times you'll you, you, you'll do that to like after, after you've comboed somebody and they're coming back down you, you want to like run and just like hit that to kill them yeah so if you get the yep. dash attack you're not hitting the up at the you want to kind of hit them at the same time basically yeah Yeah, there we go. Look at that shit. We're in tandem. We're like bicycles. Oh, God. Now I'm... I'm... Nice. Yeah. And if you're curious, we can show you the claw method, but it's not needed. Uh, you just hold hand like claw on controller. Yeah. yeah. So you bring your pointer finger. Like, are you at the? Are you looking at the stream? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's hard to. 
show on the controller, but bring your finger up, the pointy finger, you hit jump okay. and then you hit C stick with the A. So you go boom, boom, like in a cascade. Yeah, so jump first into the thing. And that, that allows you to do it. Horrible. <laughs> Yeah, basically. My fingers are too huge for that. Yeah, so you can you yeah. <laughs> it's only like you don't have to do it like that, obviously. Oh but god, I hate the, it. The the advantage with it is, it is it is a tad faster, and you yeah. don't end up doing the uh, the charge up animation for it because by using the C stick. With yeah, it, you can't charge on the C stick. Can you do that the claw with like a forward smash and not charge no. it? So it's just it's just a it's weird just property smash. with the up smash. Yeah. 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 So you don't actually have to learn that bit because it probably will never be useful to you. At Thank least God. not now. Well, I don't think like she hardly ever just runs in up smashes anyways. So it's not like Fox's up smash. That's true. Yeah. It's 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 not going to be. Yeah. But it, it's there and people use it. Um, mm. But there's a lot of top players who don't even do that that version, even with Fox. Although, yeah, Fox, yeah. Oh, shit. whoa! Yeah, I turned off the. Oh the, shit! Uh, well, now I just get breathed on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, uh, so we can try Magic. some. Uh, Smash is weird. I guess press. I just press X, Y, and C stick. Oh, the claw. Is, I guess that's a claw thing, isn't it? Yeah. So you can press, oh, okay. yeah, Y and then the C stick. And or, even if you're, or, Jesus Christ, if even if you're standing still, you can do it. It's just really specific. And yeah. It's like a frame. I use it for Fox whenever I'm trying to run up Smash. Yeah, yeah. that's what I use it for. Um. Yeah, imagine playing a game you're playing normally, and then just for that one move, you set up for the claw just so you can do it. That's what I have to do. Yeah. Like, that's what I do. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> Welcome to Fox. <laughs> uh, we do terrible. some chain grabs if you want to. Sheik has an infinite chain grab on Sheik. You want to show him real quick? Just yeah. kind of what it looks like. So, down, and then, like. I got to jump cancel it. My bad. So this is so powerful. It's banned in tournament. Yeah. So just oh, really? Sheik, just Sheik versus Sheik, they'll have like a gentleman's agreement where they won't. So uh, you want to look at Sheik, and when Sheik is doing that little spin in the air, you can grab her when her legs are towards you. Yeah, you got it. And you can literally chain grab Sheik to death. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and an often one is once you get a higher uh, higher percents, you'll be able to time a, a, a um, an up smash, yeah. and you'll just mm -hmm. be able to launch her to death. Usually about like what like one twenty or something. Yeah. Yeah. The the more percent she has, the longer you have to wait to get the. Yeah. Grab. Nailed oh, yeah, I almost, I almost finished him off. Almost. Those are a quick question. <laughs> my friend and I were playing Samus Dittos, and my friend said that dash grab is better. Is that true? Yes, because it's faster. So um, if you're standing grab, it has a longer um, wait to get out of it than dash grab. So you're going to want to... Yeah, you don't want to jump cancel Samus's... Uh, you don't want to shield grab either. Yeah. So dash grab is like the one. And so the way to do it the little trick in, in, in the doubles is when you're doing dash dancing and you're doing positioning and stuff like that with your... Slap like, me. You can... Um, That'll work. Oh, a really useful one that I get mad all, all the time with this is um, you're r running away and then do a quick turnaround dash grab. Oh, no. It's happening. Oh, God. <laughs> um... What else can we do? Um. Hmm. What do you want to do, Fizzcake? What do you, What do you feel like would be most beneficial to you? I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> like, do you want to work lost. on some? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. We should do the teching on the ground or whatever. 
Oh yeah. Nani. So after you get hit, um, you'll either land and just lay there, mm-hmm. and then you'll you have to do an action to get out of it, or you can press um, uh, the, one of the triggers. One of the triggers. So just like it's literally just like your L canceling, but instead you're L canceling when you land after getting hit, and you'll just pop right back up again. Yeah. Ah, okay. And you can you can either pop right back up, or you can input a, a direction, and you'll roll immediately in a particular direction. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw you down, and then you want to okay. like. Hit the trigger right before you land. That was way it. late. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. There we go. And you can do direction, so you can go left or right. Nice. Nail it. Yeah, corn. Nail it. Kind of like a pivot, except you want to make sure you input the dash before you do the grab, because obviously you don't want to do like a pivot grab, because that would be a standing grab. Yeah. So you want to try to roll towards the left? Nice. So yeah, you have three directions you can roll. Well, Well, not three directions, you can roll three options, and you can just like miss the tech on purpose. So yeah, you can miss the tech on purpose, and you'll land, and then you can press an attack button. Yeah. So A, and you'll get, you'll do a get up attack. And so it's kind of a mind game because you'll be you'll be hitting the tech and rolling a bunch, and then that one moment you decide to miss it and then attack, you can catch somebody unawares. Yeah. Also, you Got can it. still roll left or right if you're laying there. So just lay there and then move your stick left or right. Wow. So. And there's a bunch of stuff with that. There's a whole game with uh, whether you're gonna attack or not. And at some at certain percents, people can do stuff like after they say throw you down like he is doing, um, and then um, if you're at a higher percent, the window for being able to tech it is different, and he can do like a little jab, and he'll do what's called a jab reset, and it'll force you to stand up and put you in like a weird position where you can get hit again. There's a whole like level of strategy with that, and we don't have to get into that right now, but I just making you aware that there's. Those higher gotcha. levels. Yeah, and you also know that you can shield, and then you can still you can grab out of shield by hitting A. You still hold shield and press A. Yeah. Grab. No, 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 no. Shield what? first. So you can be in shield. Yeah, you can be in shield. Hit A. Ah. Uh, and it's called and a shield grab. Uh, uh. Yeah. So uh, uh, uh. You're shielding. Yeah. You can also do this thing called a, the shield stop what we were talking about earlier. If you're running, uh, you can shield to stop your momentum. And run up shield is like really good. Yeah, so you, you just run right up to them face. and you shield and you're like, ha, do some bitch. And then you just react. Yeah, because usually people expect you when you're running towards them to do an attack. Mm. You can kind of like mix it up. Yeah. And you can just run up shield and grab them. And then if you jump out of shields so if you run up in a shield you can jump and then do like an aerial immediately yeah um, also while you're in shield one second let me give us infinite shields um if you're in shield you can roll like left or right and you can spot dodge so pressing down will cause you to dodge and you will be able to yeah. avoid getting your shield hit yeah you can also angle your shield which is what you were doing if you don't hit a direction hard enough like it's like a tilt mm-hmm. basically if you do like the tilt movements yeah. for shield, then you won't. You'll just angle your shield, which will protect you. And that's the spot dodge right there. Yeah. And that's useful. And you can also jump out of shield, which also means you can jump cancel smash or jump cancel smash. Jump cancel uh, grab out of shield and jump cancel up smash out of shield. Yeah. So any jump uh, hit will bring you out of the shield and then allow you to do stuff out of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah so basically like if you're shielding like you can do pretty much everything you can out of a run like you can jump cancel grab and you can up smash yeah because uh, the, the, anything that starts with a jump you can do out of the shield so you can even wave dash out of shield yeah which is a little hard because you're still holding the shield button obviously yeah. so doing a wave dash out of it is a little tricky because you have to let go and then press it again Yeah, the thing with, with, with melee is uh, th- a lot of things stack on top of each other as far as tech is concerned. 
So once you've learned one level of thing, there's always going to be like a way for you to stack the other stuff on top of other, uh, of, of certain things. Ah, uh, uh, no, he's too powerful. The chain, oh goodness. Oh god, guys, stop playing with your chains. No, no. it's quick, you can get my chain. This is a Christian stream. <laughs> no, it's not. God left the stream many, many years ago. So, so I guess you could practice out of shield stuff if you want to. Well, let's 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 recap. So let's do some wave dashes. Okay. Hey, thanks for the biddies. Thanks for the biddies, corn. Because I think it's oh, more important yeah, to build on what we've learned. Yeah, that's true. Oh shit! Oh god! So, oh, no, knock my microphone out of the goddamn socket. I tell you what. I tell you what. Get her done. Oh, dang that fucking microphone! Nice. So when you're getting a roll like that, that means you're holding shield and then trying to do it all a little bit too quickly. Yeah, you're, hold, you're holding the direction and while still holding shield for too long. Nice. Nah. Okay. On days where I'm playing, like, when I'm having a hard time, especially with Marth, sometimes it's just hard for me to get the wave dashes at all. Mm. And, like, it's one of those things where it kind of forces you to, like, relax and just, like, focus on the, uh, the execution. Mm. I mean, again, like, pretty much all of them are perfect. Yeah, when you're getting them, they're, 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 they're the they're right perfect. distance. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh. So you want to do some like short hop fast falls? Well, I'll do fast falls. <laughs> I just can't <laughs> quite get the short hop. Yeah, once you get the timing, like it's uh, it becomes a lot easier. I mean, those look pretty good. And you can throw in a, an attack to try to do the L cancel too. In the middle of that. Yeah. Nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Corn, yeah. we're working on the shuffle. It's just uh, the short hop is a little hard. The people call it a shuffle when they're talking about a short hop, fast fall. L cancel. L cancel. Oh, God, yeah. Once so I can learn how to short hop, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that next. It's basically yeah, exactly yeah. what you're doing here, just with the short hop, and it's going to be faster because you're going a short distance, of course. Yeah. yeah. So these That's movements fine. matter and apply to the to doing the short hop stuff. It's just everything's a little bit faster. nice so if you miss the first because like sometimes you're missing it you can hit mm -hmm. down again like if you miss it oh, oh the uh, the fast fall yeah so yeah anytime once you started to fall yeah. if you miss it initially you can just press down again yeah. so as long as you're falling you can start the fast fall at any moment during the fall yeah if, after you hit the apex just the, the the most optimal one obviously is at the apex because you have the least amount of time Mm. But like I play Falco a lot So I mix up my My fast fall times uh, To get like Dares and stuff like that At different moments and all yeah. that Yeah So I mean 
Yeah, and once you get the, uh, the, the the this whole thing down, and you're able to do the short hop, one of the mm. most like just like bread and butter type things that that sheiks do is the fast is 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 the short hop fast fall fair, which you know, yeah. before it also like it auto cancels. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. It auto cancels. So an auto cancel is certain moves when you have them um, at a at a particular height and you do the fast fall and you do the move like basically like the same type of time you're doing that um you don't have to l cancel them because they auto cancel themselves yeah so the uh, the forward air will auto cancel itself so th like see how like i'm not flashing red or white yeah auto cancels and uh the bread and butter thing w with that is people are able to forward air somebody just keep like like forward right off the stage yeah. Oh, really? Just continually just forward airing. Well, that's mostly in Smash 4, but yeah. Also, you really kind of just want to delete forward smash from your, your brain. It's it's a move that takes well, a long time to do. I'm not trying to do, do it. it just yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, in the future, hmm. forward smash is, like, really bad. It's just a slow move. And so yeah. if you miss... You can even grab out of the middle of it. So like, you hit me with the first hit of forward, or forward smash, you can just grab... If you time right. Well, yeah. See. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. But it's something that happens a lot accidentally, and it sucks <laughs> when it happens. Mm. Um, we do the the let's do the tilts. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. First try, dude. Barely. Oh god. Nope. Fuck. I mean, you seem to have that pretty like down pat. Oh shit. Oh god. Mm, commentator's curse. Once right. you're comfortable okay. doing it in that order, you can mix it up and just go like just do a down tilt, and maybe straight into an yeah, up tilt or up something, tilt. just to kind of. Get, get used to doing different combinations of it because mm -hmm. you know it'll, it'll be better for when you get in a combo situation you're not always going to do the exact same groupings of things all right you want to do the uh jump cancel the uh, up smash so like just run at me oh yeah nice I mean, you seem to have that down, like, pretty damn good. And it's fun as hell to do, too. Make it up. And up. And up. Fight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we haven't gone... Like, 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 two into the dash attack very much because it's pretty self explanatory. But mm. it is, it is a move that is, that is pretty useful at like lower yeah. to mid percents. I mean, it's useful, like, and oh, yeah, it will, well, Sheik with a lot of percents because what it does is it pops, yeah, the it pops up. them up and then you just like boom, slap them. Right. Slappers, is there a C stick Slappers near only. ultimate? I would assume so, but I'm very disappointed by it. Um, <laughs> were you gonna say fist kick? No, I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I already forgot. Now we can do some. Oh, yeah. Nice you can do done. something fun yeah, and done. also looks cool. So if you get on the ledge. Yeah, get on that ledge. Yeah, you're going you're to turn around and then yeah. jump backwards. Yeah. And then you press down to let go and you can jump back up and grab it. Yeah, so you're gonna jump yeah, a little you wanna, faster. Yeah, you want to jump immediately. It, it, do you press down or do you press back, Matt? When you you do can that? do both. Yeah, back is not a fast fall. Down is a fast fall. So w w when you press down off the ledge, you're gonna want to tap it because then you'll just fly for yeah. downwards. So that's to, to kind of jump and re grab the ledge, and then you can do your up B out of it. Yeah. Yeah, you can also angle the upbeat into the ledge, so you're like, mm. you're uh, 
Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> and if you do that fast enough after pressing down, you'll do what's called a Shino stall, which is what okay. Matt just did. And you'll you'll basically do the up and then press down immediately towards the ledge, and you'll just do yeah. you'll just do a grab right away, practically. Because after you've started your um your your up B, you can change you can input another direction after it's started. Yeah. And then you basically have two parts of an up B. Yeah, you have your initial which direction you're doing the first poof, and then before the second poof, you can pre you can input another direction and you'll go that direction. Yeah. Uh. So first poof, and then you can do another direction, and yeah, like that. Yeah. And, and you, you don't want to hold track. down. You just want to like give it like a little. Yeah. You just like like oh, I'm going this direction now. Yeah. It's a little weird timing, but that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so if you're on the ledge, like this, uh -huh. and you hit down, you can do a wall jump. So you hit down. You double jump back, like, towards the ledge. Yeah. So, like, towards the stage, basically? Yeah, towards you, the, the stage. You rub your body against the, the the stage underneath the ledge, basically. Yeah, and then if you hit the opposite way that the stage is facing, so, like, you're going to double jump into it left, and if you hit right on the, the analog stick, you'll do a wall jump like that. Uh, yeah, so as long as you're touching the stage and you press the opposite direction you're facing, you'll do a wall jump. And you, you don't hit a jump to do the wall jump. You just literally yeah, you just you hit just, you just hit the direction. Oh, whoops! Oh god! It's a little bit weird because you're obviously uh, like, you know, if you fall, you're dying. But mm. so there, I think you're still doing a jump. Yeah. So yeah you I have no idea. What, what do you want so, me to do? So let go. <laughs> jump towards the stage again. Yeah, and so you're you're, okay. you're literally jumping towards the, the the thing. So if you just hold your stick to the left and just jump, and then and then um, and then press right as soon as your body's touching the the side of the stage on the bottom. Uh, yeah, so down on the seat or down on the. Uh, yeah, down to let go. Yeah, down to let go. And then left. Hold left, and then jump. And then and then hit right. hit right as soon as your body's touching the stage on the bottom there. How's he doing that little spin? It's, it's interesting. He's just up being. Oh yeah, don't up be. Well, I mean, he'll die if he doesn't. Well, right, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't quite follow you there. <laughs> Sorry. That's alright. This stage is a little bit weirder to do it on, um, because the wall is slanted. Yeah, so we can go to um, Yoshi's and do it. Uh, if you even want to do it. Yeah. Yoshi's story has a yeah a a flat wall. Yeah. Oh, well, that was almost it. You just gotta hit right. Yeah, yeah, literally, you're just moving your stick to the right, and your character will automatically jump off the wall. Uh, as long as you're touching it. Uh, <laughs> I might have to watch a tutorial or something, because I don't think I'm quite understanding when, where, how, and why. Yeah, so uh, the basic... I understand tenet... what, I just don't understand the other four. Mm. Uh, I mean, you can look at... We'll try, like, one more explanation, but then you can just, like, look at, well, like... Uh, my control stick at the top there. Oh, so yeah. you go down, jump, and then... Yeah, and, and, and the actual wall jump is not when Matt jumps. Matt's just jumping to get his body next to yeah. the, the, the the stage so that, so he's touching it and facing it. And when you're touching and facing the stage, if you press away on the stick, you'll just, you'll just do a jump off the wall. Like, I think maybe you can even do it if you just, like, hold down... Yeah, nah, so you still if your body's jump. already touching the stage, you don't have to do the jump. He's just doing that to position himself against the stage. Yeah. But as long as your body's touching the, uh, the, the side, of, like the, the wall, and then you press away on the stick, you'll just do a jump. It's, it's really weird. It makes no sense because you think you're going to have to press a jump to do it. But literally, you just press away off the wall, and you'll just do a, a jump off the wall. Okay. I don't 
I don't know if I'm doing it or not. I don't. I don't get it. Yeah, you're just pressing up on the stick. So press like literally out towards like the abyss. Like just hit directly right, like after pressing down. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Um, we'll do like a little bit more. Um, so you're like having like a lot of problems, like trying to get to the ledge. You can just wave dash back and onto you'll... the ledge and you'll grab ah. it. Oh, well, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, you can't be super close, super close. But you can be like really close, but you have to do like a super shallow wave dash. Yeah, you have to kind of change your wave dash length to match how far away you are. And that, and this is something that people still work on now, like as far as getting the right distance. Because if mm -hmm. you're directly on the ledge, it has to be so shallow that it's really easy just to kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of what people will do is when they're running towards the ledge to try to grab it really quickly, they'll just run towards it and then hit back the opposite direction to do a quick turnaround and then just do a way dash back. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so if like someone's like, I'm coming home and then you're like, nah, bitch. Mm. Hey, how's it going, El Senor? Hey, El Senor, how's it going? How's it going, El Senor? Him and Adam got into a bit war my stream yesterday oh, yeah. oh no this is the best kind of war right <laughs> it's like boy stop fighting over me i mean come on now oh boy i'm just a sexy man <laughs> i'm just a very hairy sexy man please stop yeah so that's gonna be like your main way to get to the to the ledge basically to steal gotcha. it from somebody or to even just like to do uh, stuff yeah to do shit Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of different ways to grab the ledge, but a lot of them are kind of complicated, so we don't have to go into them. Works for me. Oh, God. So we can do... Oh, you did like a super... Uh, so uh, there's actually a term for that. Uh, you, you did like a one that was really close to the ledge. Um, it's, it's it's called the no lifer. And basically, it's uh, it, when you do it with Fox, it's so hard that you basically have to have no life to practice it so much to get it right. When you're like on the ledge and you wave dash back to, to grab it. Yeah. So you're like right here. You're yeah. like, and if you do it, it's like it, it like it's bound to it's like it's raining today. That's it's really nice. hard not to not to get killed doing it. Oh, and you just did it. A good way to set yourself up for it is if you roll backwards towards the ledge. Yeah, you're in shield. And then you Yeah. And then you press a direction. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, fuck us, right? That's actually like really hard to, to do consistently. Yeah. So. Oh god. Eh. Oh fuck! Oh no! Wait, I'm back. Oh, he's <laughs> back. Surprise! Surprise! Wait, that's a hard tag with Fox and Falco and stuff like that. It is. I don't yeah. know how hard it is with Sheik. Yeah, if, if if you're on Fox and you and you roll back towards the ledge and then you do a wave dash to grab the ledge, that's hard. Yeah, and he's just he's he's doing it at the distance. It's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> um, I mean, you want to do some just just some fun skirmishy stuff? Yeah, I was loosen saying, up, loosen yeah. up. No, we're just like working on movement the whole time. Um, yeah, so you can just like beat me up. Um, like I'll okay. do some stuff. But I'm not gonna do like a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah, nope. Just beat that nope. up. Nope. Eh. And with Sheik, you're pretty much always want to down throw, unless you're towards the ledge, and then you want to 
back throw, gotcha. obviously. Well, you, you want to throw them towards the yeah, ledge. Yeah, throw them towards the ledge. Oh, too fast, too fast. Nice. Nice, oh, read the jump. Barely. Oh, God. Oh, that's a, that's a little combo type thing. A down tilt and a forward tilt. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to be a girl. Gross. Get out of here. Ew, hey, cooties. thanks for the uh, the cheer, dude. Yeah, thanks did for Did you it. guys finish the final episode of the council? We did. We did. It's It sucked. should be going up this, this week on uh, yeah. our YouTube channel. So like I said before, when you were fighting that fox fist take, when uh, you're recovering, like if I'm recovering, like... Right toward, well, I'll just die, I guess. Uh, if Beautiful. I'm recovering towards the ledge, you want to uh, down smash. So you want to be like right here and then down smash. Okay. Hey, thanks for the bitty bits. <laughs> <laughs> chain me. They try to chain me. Chain gang. Right in front of you. Here, here's a gift. Now uh, I bet you're wondering how that happened. I did a falling up here. It was actually like a good uh, little edge guard moment. Oh, thank you. I, I do some things okay. Oh, oh God. Don't be a gross girl again. I lost mine, but I replayed the episode. How's your hand? Oh, the last step. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, because you can. Yeah, all right. I got it. Oh, God. Yeah, Matt's hands. Matt's styling. Oh, God. Nope. Keep running, but okay. Nope. Nice. nice. <laughs> I if you can make again, that work whatever. in the middle of a combo, that would be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make the chain work, I swear to God. <laughs> That's my whole... <laughs> oh no, I didn't see I can't I'm not trying on purpose. Stop it. Oh shit. Uh, also don't forget about your needles. Those are really good. You can ledge guard with the needles. Yeah. Man. You did it earlier where you do like a little jump and then you just toss him towards the ledge and you mm. you'll be able to hit him before he's able to grab it sometimes even. Yeah. It, Pokemon. It, oh no, it's switching. Oh jeez. Oh oh we're okay. All right. This is my favorite version of the, of the stage cuz the, the windmill's so much fun to like to to fight on. It's really dangerous, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's a way that you can, like, cancel out of the pain. Nah. Well, I bet you could do it with the, uh... If you're on doubles and you have a, a Falco to shoot you. Yeah.
Oh, nice. So when you're doing this stuff, just try to remember to fast fall and to L cancel. When you're doing the aerial stuff, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Because it'll overall just make things, like, every yeah. time you land... Just keep it in the back of your mind, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, oh, when I flash red, I should L cancel or something like that. Yeah. But that's okay. the problem. I don't think when I play fighting games, oh, God. Eventually, it'll become automatic. It'll be, like, just, like, what you do. Yeah. Oh boy. It took us a long time to to get it consistent at yeah. all. But basically, every time you do an aerial and you land after doing it, it's an opportunity just to press L real quick to make it a slap mm. that that much faster. No. No. Oh. No, oh, you went to do oh, the God, down no. smash? Yeah, the down Gross. smash. Oh, yeah, I was trying to, yeah. I just, uh. Oh, God damn it. Like, even this stuff you can wall jump off of. Well, over here you can. I don't know if you can right okay. there. Oh, a down air kill. That's interesting. Making all kinds of new strats on this on this show here, I tell you what. Nope. Also Wrong. don't forget about grabbing. I try to remember when I can't. <laughs> yeah, the game sometimes uh, will have these little rock, paper, scissor moments. Where when you're running towards somebody or you're uh, in the middle of attacking them, oh. the rock paper scissors is it, is he gonna shield, and then do I attack, they or do I grab, grab him while he's in shield? Nailed it. Also, when you're doing your aerials, are you using the C stick because it doesn't look like it? No, I'm just in the air you can use C stick to do the aerials, and yeah. it, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about uh, holding the direction you're you're going to be yeah. like flying in the air. So you can just do like an a C stick when when like whichever direction you are, as long as you're in the air. Yeah, I pretty much use a C stick for everything except for up air. I don't know why. So gotcha. failing on my own part. Also, you can't nair, of course, with C stick. Yeah. Nope. Oh God, gross girl. The Zelda. It obviously isn't the character people play a lot but mm -hmm. in tournament there is some small situations where somebody will turn to zelda and zelda's i think it's her forward air or yeah. her back air is Watch. like really strong turn into zelda real fast oh shit yeah and you just like hit me with a forward air well that wasn't even the strong hit one second yeah hit me with that shit Oh, <laughs> that'll work too. Yeah, slappers. But sometimes when someone's at high percent, <laughs> to kind of style on them, they'll turn into into Zelda and just fucking back air them. And her back air is so strong, it just launches people. Yeah, you can kill it like fifty percent with bad DI. Oh god, yeah, I'm not I'm not ready to style and profile on anybody quite yet, but I'll keep that somewhere in my notes, my brain notes. Um, if you want to switch to Ganon, we can do some like moonwalky stuff for fun. Uh, me, I, I guess, I don't know. I just, I don't want to do too much because I'm already bleh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, no we, worries. We have to overdo it. Because I just, uh, my brain can hold only so much, so. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. what you want to do. It would be a little bit easier, like, because I don't play Sheik, neither the dispenser, so it's like, I don't know any of the real Sheik, like, combos mm. to work on. Uh, yeah, just I can Google it or something later on, but yeah. Yeah. From what um, I see. There's some good um, chic, like. Yeah, videos. Videos. Like, I think there's, an ep there's, there's a series where um, Hafo, he's uh, a pretty big dude as far as just like the overall community. He's not um, necessarily a huge player, but he's the guy that does all the stats for like the tournaments, you know, who's beat who and when and all that. But he's a chic player, 
and he has a series and I'll, I'll try to find it where he teaches a guy like some of the more match type positioning stuff and like where you want to be mm. on the stage to do different things and he teaches a guy how to do all that and he kind of breaks it down pretty pretty well just kind of some uh what is it like best practices type stuff nice After this match, did I jump in just for a fun little skirmish against like damage Shit. or something like that? Sure. Okay. You can get like an idea of what other characters feel like to play against because yeah. every character is different. I you thought everybody like played Fox though. What's up? I thought, I thought everybody, everybody played Fox though. <laughs> that is true. I mean, there is a lot of Fox players, but there's also like a lot of Sheik and. The only characters that aren't really in the top six that aren't well represented are Falco, uh, Puff, and Peach. Yeah. Everybody else has like a good amount of players. Yeah. I mean, Samus does yeah. have a, a smaller amount of players too. Really. More than, but like more than Falco. Yeah, it's true. There, there are more more Samus players. But the uh, the, the the main thing is uh, when you're comboing somebody, the the weight of the character matters. And nice. so when you're hitting Matt around and stuff like that, he's he's gonna fly differently, and your stuff's gonna link up differently than it is against a floatier character like Amos or Peach or Marth. Shit. <laughs> Bye. Oh, well, if you got that a little bit a faster. A little bit faster, that would have hit me 100% and fucked my day. <laughs> Just the whole day. Oh, shit. I didn't know that worked. Yeah, her dash attack is really me good. Me neither. Oh, fuck. Bye. Yeah. Not everyone's dash attack can hit low enough to hit somebody like yeah. that. Yeah. God damn it. Eat this That's chain, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I will make the chain work totally on purpose. Don't worry, guys. Soon I'll change my character name to Chain. It's Chain. Chain Cake. I think Chain Cake is Ch better. Chain Cake. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like Chain Gang. Oh, nice. Nice. We got that was nice. Forward air. Forward air is like a good combo under. Yeah. Also, you don't really want to get into the habit of up being like that because you have so much landing lag. Oh, gotcha. Um, so if you can just like regularly less. land, it's better than up being. Yeah. The only time you ever want to do it is if you is if he's coming at you with like an attack and you have to just try to avoid it. And it's purely defensive for the most part. Apparently, there's a way where you can get a double hit. On the up B as as Sheik. Um, if you, because uh, if you're grounded as Sheik, your first poop doesn't do any damage. So you can do like a weird runoff thing where you'll start the the, the up B, and then if you land afterwards, the landed one will oh, also do damage. Oh, that was sick. That was actually pretty sick. The jab. Slappers. Right. Give them slappers. Let's try some Samus. All right, fist cake. Where do you want to go? Oh anyway. shit! No, oh, that's I'm fine. Just trying to hold. Okay, <laughs> it's it's hard to hold the A button on the, the when you're the second player because you know it picks the person. Okay, okay, all right. Nice. Oh, whoops, I messed up. Nope. No, gross. Mm, cooties. <laughs> Cootie patrol. <laughs> nope. 
Yeah. Like I was saying, you, Jesus Christ. when you're doing aerials, really try to work in the C-Stig. That way it's just like in your mind. Nice. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, God. Yeah. I know you're not meaning to, but delete board <laughs> smash. <laughs> but it's working so well. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that was sick. A little slide off. God damn it. Okay, bye. Yeah, so like right there, you could have just grabbed the ledge. You didn't have to up the... Yeah. Nice. nice. Nice little weight. Thank you, thank you. Your, your movement is looking good. You know, once you start working in, like, some of the other stuff, like, mm. I mean, your movement is is good. And your sense of awareness of, like, like Spencer where the, and the, where the person is and stuff like that is, is mm. definitely better than when we started playing. Thank God. Thank God I got something going for me. Uh, when, like... When me and uh, Spencer first started playing, it was like watching Spencer and uh, Corn do Fox Ditto. It was just like some of the worst shit you've ever seen in your life. But, okay. Is that some advanced Samus tech there? Yeah, it's just fun. But yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just fun. The thing about uh, Samus's like recovery is you basically you just wait. You're just like, I'm just going to wait. Until she comes back on stage, because I can't really do anything. Nah. Oh. Oh, shit. Nice. nice. She'll, uh, she'll poke. What you say? I said uh, when me and Spencer first started playing, it was like uh, you and him doing uh, Fox Dittos. It's like the worst shit I've ever seen. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, like, you wait. pick whatever. Um... Uh... I mean, let's 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 go with the. We're just not one. Let's go on this one. Yeah, don't forget the grabs and like jump cancel grabs and stuff like that too. Gotcha. <laughs> nice. Look at that fucking combo, dude. And it's still going. No, no. too late. Too soon. So like right there, that was a forward air. Oh god. Oh boy. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Damn. I died. It was actually a sick down tilt. 
Think, oh no. Bye. <laughs> Oh no, he's got me cornered. <laughs> Am I ever gonna? Oh no! Wait, you My can actually side. do the shit to the chain behind you. Yeah, behind you too. Oh, can I? Nah. I don't. I don't think it's just gonna get around there fast enough. So. Nice. That was some good recovery, fist cake. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't panic. You know. Didn't choose the wrong angle. Had that shit on lockdown. <laughs> I on something. Bye. Oh shit. God oh, damn it. I think I'm dead too. Fuck. <laughs> that, was, that was bad DI for me. Yeah, another thing that you can kind of just like put in the back of your mind as something to work on as you're going is when you get hit, um, you can influence the how far or, or direction you fly to when you get hit by something like really hard when you're a high percent. And um, it sometimes there's a difference between losing a stock and surviving. And so if you're getting hit towards the uh, the side, like the blast zone on the um, just directly horizontal out. You can hold up on your directional stick. Up and right diagonal. As, yeah, like towards, towards the, the top corners. Corner. Yeah, yeah, and you'll live longer. Which seems like totally weird. Opposite of what you would like normally be like, I want to hold bottom left to survive. But now that, mm. that'll kill you. Yeah, and then if you're getting hit okay. straight up by something, you're going to want to hold basically the same. You always want to hold towards one of the top corners. Um, yeah. That way you can make sure that you're not going to... Uh -oh. Dude, I'm oh loving shit, the, the dude. jab, dude. dude. The jab is good. I hate, I hate Thank the you. jab because it works. <laughs> but I mean, Matt does the same thing to me all the time. No, god damn. Oh, oh no, he's back. back. Fucking. Whew, that was close. Oh, my boy's going out there. Oh, oh that, that, so close. That's what you get for, you know, living large or whatever. The fire, the candle that burns twice as fast as burns. Uh, fuck. You guys want to do like Nailed one more? It. Yeah, I can do one more and then I'll probably bounce on that here since I can't probably really learn more of my... Hands are getting incredibly sweaty. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> so sweaty. Uh, let's just uh, let's play random. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty easy to slip into it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I have a hard time with it. <laughs> Like when you're on a platform and stuff like that and you do a forward smash, I'm like, yeah, he's trying to run off fair. Yeah. When you're in neutral and you hit a forward smash, I'm like, what the fuck was he trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> I never know. I just let my, my fingers do the, the talking. Walking. Yeah, walking works too. Oh, nice. Nope, shit, nope. Nice, that was some good recovery. Okay, bye. Let's 
the boys up there trying to charge needles, and Spencer's like, nah, not on my watch. <laughs> no needles yeah. here, I'm, try- I'm trying to create some pressure, you know. <laughs> Let him know right. when stuff isn't isn't always safe. Spencer uh, attempted to learn how to play Sheik, and that lasted about two weeks. Just not, not your style? Yeah. Not your style. Yes, one, one thing uh, you should watch out for is uh, often somebody will, um, if they're falling back down after getting hit up, and you're, and you're going to mm-hmm. follow up with like a, a hit or whatever, uh, pay attention to whether or not they've used their up their, their double jump already because that's they're going to be their main tool to avoid getting hit by you uh we've been live for an hour and 36 minutes corn and we haven't even done our melee videos yet mm, i'm sorry melee stream oh, yeah, no, this I mean, is we fine. planned it like this i mean more melee is more. always good for me <laughs> like i said i'd play this game seven days a week if spencer would let me I don't disallow you. Just we have other stuff to play. Like I said, he doesn't let me. <laughs> just never lets me do it. It's not fair. Oh, I tell you. that would have been so sick to get that runoff fair. Oh shit! You hit me with the poof. Oh no! I don't want to do that. Don't let him change back. Fuck him up. Nah, that's only fair. <laughs> Ow. Her wave dash is weird, right? Yeah, her wave dash is weird. Oh, fuck. Oops. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. I saw the y- your brain working. You're like, don't OP right here. I can just grab it. <laughs> just, just touch it. You see how these are like saving me? By, by uh, you're hitting me up, but I'm like going way off to the side. Yeah. It's because I'm okay. hitting that direction like basically right when I get hit. Yeah. Shit. Not dash dance. I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm trying to hey, grab you. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was fun. Okay. Yeah. And there were, like, time, legit basically. moments where, like, I was actually just trying to kill you, and I was not able to. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, oh, what did you think of your third lesson? I don't even really call it a lesson, but, like... Third training session. Uh, lesson, tr- training V2, second gig, is what we'll call it. No. <laughs> but, yeah. No, I I actually think I enjoy Sheik a little bit more, because only because she's, you know, can move. Mm-hmm. I guess, but uh, I think Gandorf would be pretty fun to play as, at some point too. But I think I'm probably gonna focus more on Sheik right now, and then kind of yeah. go from there. Well, I think also I think there's just way more material material out there on YouTube for you to learn Sheik. Yeah. Than Gan. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, She's just a more popular character to play. Yeah. Also, if you're um, if you're up to it, if you ever want to practice or just play, um, you know, if if, if we're not available or or, or whatever. Uh, you mm-hmm. can do um, the actual net play too. Um, yeah, but uh, I, just I mean, like, teams like, randos. Yeah, but I I feel like that wouldn't be that that useful yeah. at this point. Yeah, at this point. 
Uh, gotcha. Because, yeah, they'll just like style on me. Yeah, and you're not going to be able to learn that much from that. Yeah, there's some helpful. People I learned I'm not good at the game. I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not bad. No, I know. Definitely, like, like I said, like when me and Spencer first started playing, you're miles ahead of us when we like first picked up the controller. Yeah, I feel like you're already like uh, above like a casual player, or at least like at like a good casual player level, just because you know things. Because that really separates. <laughs> like, if you just picked up the g- the game and just played things. it, you know, yeah, <laughs> then. Uh, and then you played against like the current version of yourself after practicing and like learning some of the the fundamentals. Mm. You know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, uh, I'll probably swing by again tomorrow. We can just do like a little quick hour session just to kind of, I guess, practice and maybe learn some new stuff. But yeah, there's always more stuff to. to learn. Yeah. Cool. All right, All right. dude. Yeah, yeah, enjoy see. your stream. And uh, yeah, see, see you tomorrow. Bye, dude.